Hi everyone and welcome to this video on how to change your DNS A records if your domain is registered with Fastos and using the Fastos name servers. So you might want to change your A records if you need to point any of your subdomains to another provider or if you've got a website hosted elsewhere and you need to point your domain to that. So to start with, log into your control panel and this is just the initial screen after login and go to your domain name section. Uh, from this list, just click on the domain you want to make changes to. I'm going to go fastestwebinars.com here. Now, first thing you need to check is that your domain is actually using the fastest name servers. If it's not, uh, these DNS A, A record changes aren't going to have any effect on your actual DNS. Uh, if you're not using the fastest name servers, go to whoever's providing your name servers and make these changes with them instead. But as we're with Fastos here, let's go to configure advanced DNS. And here we can see a list of all our A records for this domain and there are quite a few. So if you were just pointing your fast your website sorry to another provider, we would want to change the www and the blank host name and that's just so that if someone typed in the domain name without adding www at the start, it would still go to the same place. So all we got to do is edit that. And again, we want to leave our hostname blank because we're just editing an existing one. And you can just put the new new IP address that you've been provided with here. And just save that. There we will just copy it quickly. And again, if you're just pointing your website where you'd want to make sure you do the www.2. There we go. Okay, so that's been done. So anyone browsing to fastlacewebinars.com now would have gone to this IP address. DNS changes can take up to 24 hours to take full effect. They don't normally take that long, but it's worth noting that you might still see the old website at just while that period of DNS propagation is occurring. And if you need to change any of the other A records, they're all here. Uh, so for example, ftp.yourdomain is quite a common one to access your FTP provider. Just do exactly the same, just edit it and give put in the IP that your new provider has provided you with. Now, if you need to add one that doesn't exist, uh, on, it's not already existing, just click add a record and you can enter the host name that's required. So we could just put new and then the IP address that we need to enter there. Worth noting, you don't need to add the dot yourself. Uh, the dot is already there, so you don't need to do that. And that is all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.